All right, I'm going to get right into breaking down the post-fight brawl from this past Saturday night's UFC and the main event between Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov. I went on a deep dive investigation and compiled all the footage that I could find out there on the internet from this fight. And I'm going to break it down to show everyone out there what you might have missed that took place during the brawl. Before I get into the footage, I want to talk a little bit more about two characters that were involved with the brawl. And that is Dylan Danis, who Khabib attacked, and also Zabira Tukugov, who attacked McGregor from behind. Dylan Danis is a training partner of Conor McGregor and is a professional fighter in Bellator. And we'll talk more about him after we look at the footage. But I do want to show this clip of something Dylan said on this week's UFC vlog. I believe I have the same kind of game as Khabib, but I have a lot more submissions in my arsenal. Like I had the relentlessness and the wrestling, but I attack a lot more and I'm a little bit bigger. So I feel that I'm, you know, just bringing basically a better version of Khabib to Connor every single day. So I know 100% that he's ready. So Byron Tkugov was scheduled to fight Artem Lobov at an upcoming UFC event. Artem is a friend of Conor McGregor, a training partner of Conor McGregor, and was involved in an incident months back with Khabib and his team that led to the infamous bus incident where Connor attacked a bus with a dolly. <laughs> Zubaira also had this to say leading up to Connor's fight with Khabib. After my fight Lobov, I see McGregor. He's telling me my face. I wanna fight inside, upside. I wanna fight in upside. Uh, no cage in upside after, after, after Lobov. I tell, I tell him. All right, let's get into the footage and break down what happened. All right, so here we are, end of the fight. Khabib is about to submit Conor McGregor. Herb Dean's in there. Looking at it, Connor's gonna tap right now. The victory is Khabib's. Herb Dean pulls him off. Khabib doesn't want to get off him. The corner on the left hand side, cheering, celebrating, jumping up and down. Now outside view ring. Here you can see Khabib's co-agent, Rizvan Magomedov. He's gonna push Dylan Danis as he walks up to the ring. Now you're gonna see Khabib throw the mouthpiece at Danis. You're gonna see Danis waving at him, saying, Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Rizvan pushes him. Goes up to the ring. Words are exchanged between the two of them. Khabib jumps over the fence. Flying drop kick. And now pay close attention because we have two things going on. Conor McGregor is going to rush over. Hop on top of the ring. And now we're going to pay attention to the man running at the bottom of the screen. Who I believe to be Islam Makachev. He's in Khabib's corner. He's going to rush over. Slip off the ring. We're also going to see Conor McGregor throw a left hand at somebody from Khabib's corner, who I believe to be Khabib's cousin, Abubakar Nurmagomedov. He jumps over the fence as well. Connor hits him with the left hand. Punches are exchanged between the two of them. We're gonna come back to that. We go to the outside view. Flying drop kick by Khabib. Danis blocks it, throws an elbow, misses with the elbow. All hell breaks loose. Everyone hops in to break it up. We're going to see Khabib being dragged back. We're going to see Rizvan make his way up there. And then we're going to see Makachev hits Danis from behind. Bam. We're also going to see Rizvan hits him from behind as well before being dragged back by police. Khabib being dragged away by police and security. Then a scuffle breaks back out in the ring. Everyone rushes in. Here we're going to see a different angle. Notice in the back, we're going to see Khabib's cousin jumps over to get in the mix. Now we're going to see McGregor jump on top of the ring. Khabib's cousin jumps on top of the ring. Bam. McGregor hits him with the left. Blows are exchanged. Another angle of it here. McGregor on top. Bam. Hits him with that left again. Security gets in between them. Then we're going to see this security officer... Down here, just allows Makachev, hops in the ring. Makachev sees what's going on. He goes over, squares up with Connor. Connor sees him charging, hits him with the left, wobbles him a little bit. And then Connor is attacked from behind by Zabira Tukugov. Tukugov gets in five or six punches on him. Another couple angles here. Close up view right here. Jumps right in. McGregor connects with the hard left. 
One more view here. Security, not stopping these. This could have been a lot worse in my opinion. A lot more people could have jumped in. And now we're going to see Khabib's cousin fights off the security. He comes back in. He's going to get hit once again with a left by McGregor. They're going to they're going to lock up. Connor's corner comes rushing in, breaks it up, and then security is going to separate it here. Now we're going to go to the back here. We're going to see Rizvan, Khabib's co-agent, being arrested by Las Vegas police. We're going to see Khabib escorted away right here. Nothing was thrown on him like Dana White did fear, but at the end of the tunnel here, he is pelted with some beer and some liquid. In the... Ah, uh, then right here, we have Khabib's cousin who was struck by Conor McGregor with at least two pretty clean punches. Shows off the bruise that he has in a video he uploaded to social media. And then Tukhugov also uploaded a video to social media. And this was translated over on Twitter by Kareem Zidane. He said, I slapped him as I promised. I promised to make him answer for his words. And I did. Tukhugov and Makachev were both part of the UFC roster prior to this incident taking place. But Dana White said that they will be part of the roster no more. The, the, the guys who jumped in will never fight here. They'll never fight here. Um, Dana also had this to say about the arrest that took place after the event. That that works is Connor uh, was one of the guys who was attacked and things like that. Connor refused to press charges. So the guys that they did have, they've released. There were, there, there were three guys from Habib's team arrested. I, I think they were from Habib's team, I don't know, um, that were arrested and, and they were released because Connor didn't want to press charges. I expected to see more mayhem take place between the fans after this entire incident took place, but to my surprise, I only really found two videos of violence that took place after the event. This is what Khabib had to say at the post-fight press conference when asked why he did what he did. Nevada, sorry to Vegas. I know this is not my best side. You know, this is not my best side. You know, I'm human being and uh, like I know understand how people can talk about I jump on the cage, you know. What about he talk about my religion, he talk about my country, he talk about my father. He come to Brooklyn and he broke bus. He almost killed a couple people. What about this? What about this? Why people talk about I jump over the cage? Why people still talk about this? Like, I don't understand. I am respect. I, my father teach me, hey, you have to be always respectful. My old team, where I'm training California seven years, everybody know who I am. All my friends, like everybody who know me, they know who I am, you know? And uh, I told you guys, these guys, not only him, his old team and him, they tap machines. You know, I told you guys. It's not people, I think it's media. Media a little bit change MMA. This is respect sport, you know. This is not trash talking sport. This is respect. So like I told you before guys, I wanna change this game. I don't wanna people talk about like opponents, talk about his father, like like religion. You, you cannot talk about religion. You cannot talk about nation, you know. Guys, you cannot talk about this stuff. And you know, this is for me is very important. And uh, uh, <coughs> thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you for waiting for me here. I know my, my father gonna smash me when I go home because I know he's gonna smash me. And uh, Nevada, sorry. Vegas, sorry. And Alhamdulillah, undisputed, undefeated UFC lightweight. Uh, with Putin, something like this. He just called me and he said he was oh, very proud of me. I win. And he said congratulations. And you know. So talking more about Dylan Dennis, we don't know exactly what caused Khabib to go off on Dylan post-fight. Joe Rogan talked about during the telecast how Dylan was talking some shit towards Khabib. In terms of searching on the internet, I did find something interesting from an article on January 12, 2017 over on bloodyelbow.com. 
in which Dylan gave an interview and something that he mentioned was that me and Khabib had a little little bit of beef when I was younger. When I was 16 or 17, he used to come to a place in Jersey that I used to train at. His manager was the coach of my gym and he used to wear the stupid shirt that said, if Sambo was easy, it would be called Jiu-Jitsu or something. I said, okay, let's do it. Let's do a grappling match then and see how easy Jiu-Jitsu is. And then never came to fruition. I don't know what happened, if they told him or if they didn't tell him. But I told the guys, you tell him that I said, let's see how Jiu-Jitsu is and I'll show him. So it's a stupid shirt he wears. I'm sure this isn't the last we're going to be hearing from Dylan Dennis as Conor McGregor called him his protege in 2017. And I'm very interested to see what he does next. We don't know what exactly will happen to Takugov, Makachev, or Khabib, but I'm sure more information will come forward in the coming days in terms of what the punishment for Khabib will be. If, in fact, we will never see Takugov and Makachev in the UFC again. So let me know what you guys think about what took place. Who do you think was at fault? Is Connor at fault for throwing the first punch in the ring? What do you think's going to happen from this point on? And any other general thoughts or comments that you have about the situation? And let me know if you would like me to do some more videos like this in the future. My normal forte is the poker world and poker podcasting and poker content. But I am incredibly interested in the fighting world and I might do some more investigation content in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.